What is going on, y'all? He did it. Our anxious millennial cowboy is now the AEW world champion. So it's November 14th now. It's uh, you know early in the morning. The pay-per-view is on November 13th. And uh, after you know a year, two years, kind of depending on when you technically want to start his uh, his journey, but it's you know it's been a while. It's been a long time coming, but he is finally the champion. So it was a great, great uh, pay per view, great match, all that good stuff. Um, I just wanted to kind of like I don't even really have a review necessarily, but. On Reddit, there was a guy that posted this. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to him down below. I don't... Uh, is his name on here? I don't believe it is. But uh, he did a pick'em card for the actual pay-per-view. So I just wanted to kind of run through it. Um, I tried to keep track of, of, of the points. You know, or like, not the points, but who won with the, the markings and all that. And, uh, but like I said, it was super, it was super fun. I was over at a friend's house and so, you know, myself, him, and then a few other friends had, you know, we had our own little pick em sheets and honestly, I, I, I lost, like I, I thought I was going to, you know, clean sweep it, but they got me. So I wanted to run through the card real quick and just kind of go over what, what I picked and then what, um, what actually happened. So in double checking, uh, I wanted to go ahead and just give the guy, or you know, it could be a girl, the the person. I wanted to give them credit for the actual scorecard. They are you the sub s o u b. So I is it sub so so ub, but I wanted to give them credit. Um, anyways, so the first match. Let's. I'll try to get this in order, but. You know, it's not in order necessarily on the card on here, but I'll try to remember like what order it was when they actually you know came out and all that. So the first match was Darby Allen with Sting, and on here so it says MJ uh, Darby Allen with Sting and then MJF with Wardlow. Uh, pardon me on that. So I picked MJF with Wardlow as uh, you know as my choice, and that was worth ten points. And um, and then it had each one kind of had a bonus question. So the bonus question was, does Sting hit a Scorpion Death Drop? And that was only worth two points. So I got the first one, but I did not get the bonus. So I got ten points. Um, the next match, I'm trying to think. I think it might have been the World Title Eliminator Finals. Um, I should have wrote this down, actually, what order they came in. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. But that one was Miro versus Brian Danielson, also worth, uh, that one was worth 15 points. MJF and Wardlow versus Darby Allen with Sting, that was worth 10. Um, so that one was worth 15 points, and I picked Miro to win, actually, and Brian Danielson won. That was kind of like a, a shot in the dark a little bit. Um, I kind of thought Brian Danielson was going to win, but since they added Miro in instead of John Moxley, I thought there was a chance that uh, Miro was going to go all the way. Especially, you know, at the very end of the card, I expected Hangman to win. So I figured you're going to have a good guy versus bad guy, as opposed to, uh, you know, Hangman's a good guy, Brian Danielson's a good guy. So I thought maybe it'd be a good guy versus bad guy situation. That's that's at least the logic in my head. You know, you know, take that for what it's worth. Um, so I thought Miro was going to win. I did not get that correct. Um, but there was a spot on here where it has the bonus. It says, does Miro's wife make an appearance? Because he's always referencing his wife. Um, and I put no. Because she hasn't been... I mean, he always references her, but she hasn't made an appearance yet. So I didn't think she was going to make one this time. So I got that one right. Um, after that, I believe it was the Lucha Bros and FTR match. So like I said, I might have a, these a little bit out of order. But uh, so it was Lucha Bros and FTR match. Um... And on here, it was uh, Will Sean Spears interfere. So I picked the Lucha Bros to win. I did get that correctly. That was for the AEW Tag Team Championship. Um, I put on the Will Sean Spears interfere. I put no. I didn't think he was going to interfere. I think he actually like sort of interfered in the MJF and Wardlow match. So you know, I just happened to get lucky on that one. Um, after that, I believe... That it was the Jurassic Express and Christian Cage versus the Super Click. I think it was that match. And the bonus question on that one was, who will the Young Bucks kiss? Because that's kind of like been their thing where 
uh, Adam Cole will have somebody in, it's kind of like a, I guess a camel clutch type uh, submission, and the Young Bucks will go and usually kiss Adam Cole on the cheek on each side, but sometimes, you know, there's been a, there's been a couple scenarios where it hasn't been Adam Cole. So I thought maybe that wasn't going to happen, so I put Luchasaurus on there. Um, they kissed Adam Cole on the cheeks, uh, and then the Super Click didn't win. That's who I picked to win, and they didn't win. So it was uh, Jurassic Express won. So I, you know, that's not good. I was I was kind of was kind of lagging behind on some of these. Um, the next match I believe was the Cody Rhodes and Pack versus Malachi Black and Andrade El Idolo match. And the bonus on that was, does Malachi use the Black Mist, which he's been using that to kind of win, almost like a little cheater move, just spit on somebody uh, and, you know, pin them. So on that one, I picked Malachi Black and Andrade to win, and they didn't. It's Cody Rhodes and Pac won. Uh, but on the, oh, I didn't even get the bonus right. Does Malachi use the Black Mist? I put yes, and I was incorrect. So wasn't doing too good, not doing too hot. Um, oddly enough, one of my friends had their kid, you know, kind of like just slap the page and they got a bunch of them correct just by slapping the page and guessing as to like who was going to win what match. Um, after that, I believe we would have been looking at the Dr. Britt Baker and Ty Conti match, which that was worth 20 points. Um, so that one, and then the bonus on that was does Britt Baker get busted open? So on that, I picked Dr. Britt Baker to win. I kind of figured she was going to win. Um, and then I put no on the on her getting busted open. So I got that one. You know, I totally got that one right. So I... Um, and then right after that, I believe we were looking at the Eddie Kingston and CM Punk match. So on that one, great match. Uh, you know, kind of just like a... More like a scrap, I guess. So that one was worth 10 points, and the bonus on that was, does Punk hit a Macho Man elbow? I put yes on hitting the Macho Man elbow, and then I picked CM Punk to win. So I only got I got 10 points, and then I didn't get the bonus for two points. And after that, uh, the next match was the Inner Circle versus the American Top Team in the Minnesota Street Fight. Uh, so honestly, on this card, there weren't a whole lot of uh, you know, gimmicks, stipulations, anything like that. If this was pretty much the only one, if I am, you know, thinking of it correctly, this was the only, you know, stipulation match. Whereas last, uh, last time there was the cage match and I feel like there was another, another match. Oh, you know what? The Jurassic Express, that one was a Falls Count Anywhere match. So that was, you know, that actually, okay. So there was two, probably similar to what it was last time. That's, that's on me. Um, so on that one, I picked the inner circle to win and uh, the bonus question on that one was, does Jorge Masvidal interfere? I put yes, because he has been showing up, but he he didn't show up this time. I At least as far as, I, I may have missed it, but I don't think he showed up. So I don't think I got the two points on that one. Um, so that was the, you know, the second from the top match. The last match, you know, I already spoiled it a little bit. Hangman, Hangman won. So that one was uh, Hangman Page versus Kenny Omega. So kind of a, you know, it was a, a barn burner, I guess. Um, they, uh, they, they tore it up. So that one was worth 20 points. And does Hangman kick out of the one-winged angel? Kenny didn't even hit the one-winged angel. Hangman actually hit it on Kenny, and Kenny kicked out. So I didn't get the bonus on that one. Um, but I did, get, I did get the main one correctly. I got the 20 points. So all in all, if I did my math correctly... I believe that I got 99 points out of the uh, 99 out of the 150. So, what is that? That's a uh, two thirds. It's like a 66 percent. So I didn't do too good. I, you know, I, I don't know. I guess on some of these, I kind of was like trying to go against the grain, just like trying to go for the go for the swerve. And uh, really, I should have just listened to my heart. But uh, yeah, this was awesome. This was a lot of fun. If you watch the pay per view, I don't know if this guy is gonna do uh, the same thing again. But if if he does, then this, like I said, it was awesome. It was a good time. Um, the the people that I was watching it with, they seemed to enjoy, you know, kind of keeping track. Cause you know, honestly, most of the most people aren't gonna be super into the into the pay per views most of the time. So if you have something to kind of engage them a little bit, then you know, that's it's just it's just 
a lot of fun. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, Reddit user makes one, or hopefully somebody picks it up, or you know, I don't, any, I don't know. But it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. And um, if you did anything like this, you know, leave it down below. Let me know what you. Let me know what you did. Um, anyways, so good times. AEW Full Gear 2021. I'd probably give that one a maybe like a eight out of ten, eight and a half. You know, Hangman winning was awesome, but like last last pay per view, I think was probably a little bit better than this one. Um, man, that Bucks match with the uh, with the steel cage last time that was amazing. So, anyways, if if you're into this, you know, leave a thumbs up, like I said, or just let me know what you did to. Uh, you know, to, to celebrate the card. 